Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are in the Mission Control Center talking to Gene and looking at this contract we are stuck with. Uh, so this one is testing the LV-45 at a fairly low altitude, but at quite fast, which I didn't quite realize at the time when I took it, but you know, whatever. Uh, so what we're doing now is having a look through all the missions that are available to us and looking for one that matches up. Um, I, I kind of one that's either a little bit higher in altitude or a little bit lower as it turns out it was a little bit higher in altitude and it was traveling at roughly the same speed so if past me is getting on with it there we go we are taking the uh the the power the test of parachute uh it's about a kilometer higher up and about the same sort of speed which is um spot on it's exactly what i wanted to do okay so now we should be leaving and heading towards the science base, the R&D department, because let's be honest, we need to be able to open up more, more science options. And there we go, we'll take the materials bay, um, mainly because it is like the, the, um, the best science you can do at the moment. Uh, I was looking through all the base values for stuff and the, the materials bay just kind of races away. But anyway, this is the first vehicle that I came up with trying to um, solve the issue of the uh, low altitude. As you can see, I was trying to pack quite a lot of science into this particular flight. Um, I don't really want to spoil it, but oh, we didn't do too well here. Um, so it turns out that, um, well, first off, I was looking for the, uh, the run test uh, menu item. You know, when you right click uh, right click onto an engine and then there used to be run test back in 0 0.25 well it turns out they've taken that away I'm sure that there is some building upgrade somewhere that we can do that allows us to do that again maybe in the you, yeah you can see me searching for it right there it, it was useless uh, maybe in the mission control vehicle uh, building there will be the option to be able to run this test but let's revert back I know some of you won't be too happy about that revert uh, I know I'm not overly happy but you know this is a kind of a trial and error process and, and you can be sure that I'm gonna use a lot of error in this process. Okay, so what we've done here is I've taken away half the science that was up on top because I had figured out that it was just far too heavy. We were not getting the acceleration. And I stuck one of the massive back solid boosters down at the bottom there uh, in, the, in the vain hope that it had enough oomph to get us up to the right altitude and the right speed to be able to fire off the stagings at the right time and get all the science beautifully working and like my heart Whole life would be lovely and it would be fluffy rainbows everywhere unfortunately uh, again the, as you can already tell i mean we're, we're, we're just breaking something like 300 meters per second there but we're just not getting high enough and we're already running out of fuel um leading me to think that maybe this isn't quite right um and again not enough speed just we, we just don't have the umph even with some fancy sideways flying it's just never going to work so i decide that maybe it's time to to revert and completely change our ideas about how we're going to do this so after invoking the sun gods i went back into the vab and uh, completely changed my idea so you'll notice that we've got three tiny um solid boosters down on the bottom there with extra separatrons just to make up the weight uh they are all clustered around a structural pylon you know the only structural pylon you have this early on in the game um, and then there is literally just the engine we're testing, the smallest fuel tank to run it, and then the command capsule on top because I don't have any pro parts yet. But this looks good. We are already on our way to speed to, to reach the speed. We hit the speed. We hit the altitude. I do the uh, do the staging, and beautifully, the solid boosters stay underneath me and continue pushing me well past the point that I was like trying to jettison them, which is actually good for this next one which i just did the parachute test and there we go a magnificent ballistic arc of victory has been reached the commercial success is raining down upon jebediah as the whole of kerbal kain rejoice at his magnificence and still we hate him but anyway we are floating our way down to uh, a beautiful applause from from the, the mission control that one would imagine uh and just trying to kill time to to bring jebediah home uh, as we all know the the landing is the most boring part floating down so we're just going to spin around a bit and i uh, hope hope we make everyone ill and there we go success so following on from that commercial geniusnessnessness that just happened there i have built this i've called it pinala roll uh, because it reminds me of a rolling pin obviously uh, we are trying to circumvent the fact that we have no wheels at this point in the game also the fact that we have no science uh, so i've gone and looked in the science bay and we don't have fuel lines or solar panels yet these are the two things that i decided are 
very important into getting a moon moon shot on the go. If I, if I run out of SAS power up there, I'm almost done for. And if I don't have the fuel lines, the size of the rocket that I have to build would be horrendously large. So yeah, we're going around with this this thing here trying to figure out well at the moment trying to figure out how to drive it where we can go to pick up all the different um biomes uh for those of you that don't know the kerbal space center has something like eight different biomes in it i, th I think it is eight that's why i built a, a four science pod thing and whilst these eight different uh, biomes around the Kerbal Space Center aren't worth the hugest amounts of um, science, they are definitely worth, at this point in the game, going around and picking up with some sort of similar contraption like this. Uh, I think all in all, you, well, I'm hoping all in all you can get something like 180 um, science points for it, because that is what I need for the two things. Well, it was 180 plus whatever I needed for general rocketry, um, which I think was another 45. You may note that steering this thing was a bit of an issue. Uh, I don't think I've actually cracked at this point in the in the recording exactly how to steer it. Uh, I was using... Oh, I think I'm just about to, actually. Uh, I was using uh, time acceleration because that would make the ship pull ever so slightly in one direction. So you see there, I tried to get Bob to push it round. That didn't work. So I'm now going to try and use Bob, Bob as a um, a post to turn around and that actually worked surprisingly well as long as I was doing it on the communicatron on the end there uh, that was very important to have like that that very end point of talk there um, I still haven't quite figured out how powerful it is here but we're gonna roll on towards the uh, the space plane hangar and the what's the other thing called the runway so we can get the sciences there before moving on to, uh, I don't know, the administration building or what one of those other buildings on the far right there. Um, the, the the random way that this, this vehicle has been turning has led me over here. So we're going to use this to our advantage, um, basically because, because I hadn't figured out how to steer it. We kind of just had to go wherever the whim of the program took me at this present moment, in, t in that present moment in time anyway. Um, so it was about here that I realized that I could actually do EVA reports as well, which was a little bit, uh, little bit late on that particular thing, but we will deal with that later and it was here this beautiful moment that i realized how well using um is it bob's yeah bob's head as a as a steering post really did work uh, a couple of beauty shots for the screenshot uh, i don't know which which thumbnail i'm going to be using yet but i'm sure you will spot the thumbnail somewhere around here because this was by far the most fun part of this mission uh, at least so far anyway collecting all the science up uh we're just trying to roll over onto the 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 um why can I never remember the word runway when I'm trying to do this? We're trying to run over to the runway here, and we're about to find out um, how, I'm not going to say dodgy, but how slightly mismodeled the edge of the runway is, because we need to turn around, so we're going to get Bob out, and look, oh, I'm I'm sunk. This, this must be quicksand that they've put along the side of the runway here. It doesn't really seem like the best material to be using at the side of the runway. I mean, you'd want like some sort of ultra-hard uh, tarmac or something. Something that can really take the pounding that the aircraft wheels are going to give it. Because as we all know, aircraft wheels are pretty uh, sturdy things designed to take quite a bit of a bashing. And if the, land, uh, the landing strip is not also designed to take that bashing, well, you're just going to sink in the mud and have all sorts of trouble there, aren't we? But anyway, we've managed to do a 180. Um, and eventually... Eventually Bob will find out which end he belongs into here. And we're going to just roll our way down this way. Um, energy is be becoming a bit of a problem here. As I mentioned, I don't actually have any solar panels yet. So we're trying to do it all on the battery power of the four small battery packs that we have in the middle there. You can just see the, the green light rolling around. Uh, we're going to do a quick, quick check of our science base, see if we can get any new science around here. No, we can't. Uh, it turns out that it's um, they're quite wide biomes, the, these places, uh, which is a little bit annoying, but there we go. Uh, a little bit of fine tuning to be done on the rolling pin just to make sure we're pointed in the right direction. And I'm getting really good now at making sure that when the pin rolls, the uh, escape hatch is just the right height for Bob just to kind of wander up and climb on in the side there. So we're pulling the, uh, the, the camera out here to have a look around and see what this path lineation uh, is like around here to see if it's got anything to do with the the layout of the biomes around the Kerbal Space Center because I'm a little bit interested in finding out where the edges of those biomes are because it, you know it'd be really nice to know it maybe not this time through but definitely for like my next career mode I could probably do this a lot better if I had all the details in my head as opposed to just winging it as I am here uh, that it is 
quite the theme to want to, for my Kerbal um, playthroughs. I really do wing this stuff quite a lot. Um, with the power of Bob's head, we really are moving stuff around. Now that we've got the uh, the space plane uh, biome science, uh, we're going to jump back in and try and make our way over... Is it the administration building, I think? It wasn't the astronaut complex I went to. It was the administration building because the astronaut complex is going to happen later on. Not that you guys know that. I'm just applying my foreknowledge of the, what's going to come up to uh, assist me here in this commentating. And wow, for some reason my voice has gone all uh, soft and floaty and we're just going to talk like this a little bit more as we watch the electric charge slowly run down and here we are at the very edge of the administration building. This was in fact the astronaut complex so it turns out that I was talking absolute rubbish about knowing using my foreknowledge. But here we go, whole load of science, uh, 50 points of science there, not a bad haul. And in fact, it's such a good haul. We're going to go into the science building and buy the advanced rocketry because yeah, that's uh, radial engines, a big fuel tank, allowing us to have access to these fuel ducts. And this is what it's all about from here on, getting fuel ducts and solar panels. Um, uh, as you can see, we've only got 28 science and we need 180, so uh, big things are afoot. So it's time to rinse and repeat the process as we did actually have double the number of biomes to get to save your boredom and mine all we're going to do is cut to the bits where bob gets out and does all the, the the mucking around with the sciences and make sure everything is all good and you know basically does what he's there to do so we're just going from like that was the tracking station we're now at the vab uh, with beautiful sunset coming washing over us there and i think we're even going to have the opportunity what to watch the the nightfall uh, I, in fact, now that I think about it, I do believe that is next mission, um, which never fear that is coming. But right now we're rolling around like some giant rolling pin, uh, as I have already pointed out, it's, uh, it's likeness to, uh, and getting, well, we've just, as I've just said, we did the tracking building. We did the VAB. We've just done the, uh, administration building. No, this is the R and D building. My, my bad. And, uh, eventually going to end up our, our way over to the administration building because everywhere else had been done. And just like that, even though it took me half an hour, just like that, all the science has been collected. So I mentioned that in a couple of places we had failed to do the EAV. So this is me getting out and using the Kerbal Attachment System to try and um, work around some of the limitations that are inherent in the game. Uh, so first off we had to do the materials um, study on the launch pad, done that, no problem. I then got the communicatron off the side of the vessel that I would built here and threw an aerial on top, wandered around a little bit and did some EVA reports. Of course, taking a moment to ap appreciate the beauty of the stars coming out at night, and indeed, even taking the screenshot. If you're part of the group, you would recognize the screenshot because I was singing its praises all weekend. So we're now trying to find um, all the places where we, we haven't done EVAs. The, the, the Cruel Way was one of them. Uh, the Kerbal Space Center, the generic biome that is the uh, the, the flat lands around the Kerbal Space Center that, that needed doing. Uh, and now I'm trying to find out to see whether the flagpole is its own biome or not because the wiki says it is and it turns out that no it's not. Alright so I want to put Bob back into this vessel because well I just want to put Bob back into this vessel. So we're going to spend a lot of time jumping around on top of this um this battery pack here trying to get myself up high enough uh this is one of the things the the attachment system is great for is uh making yourselves little stairways up even though i had to in the end use my uh jet pack to get up there so that mission gave us 100 signs leaving me to say thank you very much for joining us for this uh, slightly unusual adventure i will see you next time where we're gonna get ourselves up into space to do some eva reports Bye.